Hey girl, I'm Sonia and welcome back to my channel. Typically I would do beauty tutorials, but in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I decided to do a tutorial showing you guys how to make these chocolate breakable hearts. I've always wanted one, never got one. I digress. This year I'm going to be, you know, filling my own bucket. I'm gonna be, you know, spreading the love to other people. <laughs> I'm hoping that you guys will try this out and let me know on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me there, please do that. We're gonna jump right into this video because I really wanna make it short and sweet, easy for you guys to rewatch over and over again if you need to. I'm going to be including step-by-step -step instructions, what I use, and if you make a mistake, how to fix it. A list of links to everything that you'll see in today's video will be down below, or you guys can visit me on Amazon, amazon.com forward slash SC Castaneda forward slash shop forward slash SC Castaneda. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start with what I purchased, which is a kit. It came with a large heart shape mold, the smaller ones, also some letters and numbers, including some really special um, characters like hearts, plus signs, asterisks, you know, things like that, just so you can have more opportunity to be creative. Of course, some hammers. They also included this brush, but I didn't even use it. I'm like, what's that for? <laughs> Melting chocolates. I got a huge bag of white melting chocolates because I can add food coloring to them or you can also get smaller bags of color which I have blue and pink and you're gonna need to store in something when you give it as a gift so I recommend these kinds of boxes the links will be down in the description below so to get started you're going to need a microwavable safe bowl or mug I've seen it used both ways and you're going to start in small increments of 30 seconds okay after 30 seconds you're gonna realize how powerful or weak in my case your microwave is so mine needed 30 more seconds and you're going to then transfer the chocolate into your heart shape mold this is when you're going to give it a nice little taparoo and you're going to see bubbles start to come to the surface and you want that because you don't want these bubbles or holes when the chocolate sets now i'm going to quickly move into this like manipulation of the mold try my hardest not to let it spill out just yet but trying to get that chocolate to hit every corner of this mold now depending on how thick or runny your chocolate is you might have to wait a second or pour it out and try again because if it's too runny kind of like water or milk then you need to let your chocolate cool but it should be this like lotion consistency or like a shampoo or a conditioner something really thick but still able to run if you need to you can hold it up to the light and it'll let you know if you need a second layer then you're gonna place it on something sturdy like a small baking sheet flip it over and then pop it into the freezer it only takes minutes for it to set but I leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes to make sure that it's completely hardened then it's ready to decorate and you have this bare canvas where you can use edible glitters also some colored powders and things like that people get really really creative with that next you're going to be filling up your heart with your favorite treats I am just going to be using candies that my nieces and nephews enjoy because I'm making these for them so we have tons of different candies here Mexican candies some heart shaped candies and also of course chocolate we have Twix Snickers and some Kit Kats let me know in the comments below what you would fill your hearts with and as I am carefully flipping it over and putting it into the box you're going to add whatever else you'd like to put next to your heart and your hammer that could be cookies it could be chocolate covered strawberries, it could be fuzzy socks, it could be whatever you want. Here is some inspo for you guys. Next, I'm going to quickly show you how to create your chocolate letters. And this is something that's definitely going to be a trial and error for you. That's how it was for me. I'm gonna be showing you guys my mistake in just a moment. But I start off with a small amount of chocolate using my spoon to press the chocolate into the mold then using a spatula to wipe off any of the extra chocolate on top. This makes for really clean letters and an easy process to extract the letters without breaking them. 
and to apply them or glue them, quote unquote glue them to your chocolate heart, you're just gonna use a little bit of melted chocolate, almost like paste or glue. You can do this to anything that you want to stick to this chocolate heart, like maybe chocolate roses or chocolate butterflies, anything you can find in the craft section. It's really, really easy to do and it sets really quickly because it's a small amount of chocolate. Now we're gonna move on to our mistakes. So the mistakes are gonna be on the left side and what you want to do is gonna be on the right. This is what happens and this is what it looks like when you don't do that extra scraping with a spatula. It just is so messy, time consuming, and could be a waste of chocolate, especially if you're not going to remelt and try again. So this is the difference it makes. Um, next up, we're going into our chocolate molds. So if you're like me, this is the first time that I tried it. I made a huge mess and I didn't melt enough chocolate. I was also worried about wasting chocolate, so I decided to use a different color, which is the white that I had on deck for my letters. And I'm gonna show you the difference, okay? When you don't properly mix the colors together, you're gonna look like, your heart's gonna look like the one to the left versus the one to the right. Now, if you made that mistake like I did, do not throw the chocolate into the trash. Try again. So don't be discouraged. You might have to do this a couple of times before you get it right, but I promise you, it's so easy. The setting time is literally minutes, so just melt it and try again. Trying something new can be super intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. It's chocolate, it's not that serious. Just keep trying and trying and trying until you got it. Honestly, this was my second heart that I made, and I was confident enough to go live on Amazon with this heart tutorial and here on YouTube. And that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys will give it a try, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.